Hi guys, I'm Peter Birch. If you're new to the channel, thanks for finding me. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification button. Today, guys, we've got a cool treat. We're hanging out with Kenan Harkin of Camp Kenan and Kane Duran of Wild, and we're going to be talking all things turtles. Man, you guys are going to love today. Stick around. So we're just getting all uh, turtle geek on here with these two turtle geeks, you know, like yeah. I'm, the, I'm very turtle novice, so it's time for me to catch up and get up to date with this, so let's yeah, hang out yeah, with the real guys. And they might like that. Like they have too. Yeah, and, and it's, it's sensory, right? Yeah, they find them the right. So these guys are going to be... What do you reckon, Kane? Oh, I'm pretty excited. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited too. I mean, hey, look at these two, two, two excited uh, turtle guys. Yeah. Uh, but just Talking about turtles. Seeing these guys, you know, and as these serrations uh, wear off, just seeing the different lights. All right. Well, we're down here at Hunter's Pond. And Hunter, there he is. There's the man. So, Hunter, talk us through. What do you got in this pond, bro? Um, Mary's and Albert's, as you can see. Your yeah, show me, show me. And show me. Mary's. Yep. Yep. You can see the red thing. Yeah. Here's another Mary that I caught. You're learning something, hey? Look, you can see that red thing there. Yep. Um, the back of the leg, yeah? The, the colour flash. Yeah. And it's amazing. That. So you can tell two different ways that eh? it's a Mary. The, the back of the shell or the back of the leg, as you can see. He yeah. has it and he has that one too. That's amazing. And how old are you, Hunter? Um, eight. Look, we can all learn something and here I am learning from Hunter. Hunter is the He's the genius turtle guy right now, right here in this pond. This is turtle. This is Hunter's turtle, and his pond. So Hunter's pond is pretty amazing, maintained and operated by this young man right here. I mean, he makes it look so simple that we all should be able to do this, and why not? Looking after animals should be simple, right? What he's also done is he's created this beautiful little habitat outside, where the animals can not only survive but thrive. He's got the least favourite part of his job is cleaning and maintaining the filter, but we all know that that is the life system of how keeping turtles in captivity. This nice, pristine pond. And how many little turtles did you say you had in here, Hunter? Five. Five beautiful turtles, and they all look absolutely healthy. They have the opportunity to get to the sunlight because they're outside in the sun. It's raining at the moment, and they also get a bit of rain, which is good for them. And I mean, why not just keep it natural, just like Hunter, guys. We just catch up with these two clowns. Still talking, geeking, getting on the turtle. Hey, Kane. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, Kane, tell us what's um, what's going on today. What are we doing? Uh, so today we've got Ken and Oak from Camp Kenan. Uh, yeah. yeah. Another turtle clown. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm a bit of a fan. So. Um, <laughs> That's all right, mate. Yeah. Today uh, we're going to take some hatchling turtles out. Yep. And we're going to release them. So these turtles were hatched from a roadkill female, and we're going to take them out and put them back into the river so they can continue that. Uh, genetic diversity that the female is carrying. Awesome. Uh, and and we're all, we've also got some adults to release as well. Um, That's pretty awesome. Yeah, and I mean, at Wild and Turtle Rescue New South Wales, we've got, uh, I mean, right here I've got yeah. 11 species of turtle, uh, which is sort of approximately a third of Australia's uh, turtle diversity. That's pretty amazing in itself, you know, to have so many different species. All together. Yeah, well, it is. I mean, see, like obviously in other countries, like the states, they can have a lot more because that, their borders are sort of open to you know the exotic trade and that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we can only feed down natives, and, and uh, yeah, so we're pretty limited. But also, um, we can really focus on those species and, and do the right thing for them. And, yeah. and we try and give them as much space. As we can, so oh yeah, so definitely so space, so space. Yeah. I mean, look at this. Jeez, it's a giant pool, man. Like, and these guys are living the life, you know. It's not just turtles in there either, right? You got, you got a lot of other things. Like, there he is, goes there, right there. Yeah, there goes a nice small eel. Yeah, I had some smaller eels in here, but I think they had a bit of a wrestle and the big one was. Yeah, so some other things that these guys would naturally see in their normal environments. That's what you're giving them today. Yeah, that's what we try and do. Like, you can see, we've got the in and out effect, which is with the branches yep. and we, we plant in the dock, you know, we just try and give them a, a bit of a natural life like, and we sort of try and replicate 
the riverbed, you know. So if you look at any of our videos, yeah. all you see is sand and submerged rolls and turtles and fish and eels. So, yeah, that's, that's what we find there. That's pretty amazing. This guy's too much fun. Yeah. 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 Well, that's pretty cool, man. And I guess we've got a few other things to do. And it's raining. Perfect weather yeah, for turtle people. Turtles, but if you see them on the road, slow down and dodge them, hey. Yeah, great idea. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's show. Make sure you hit up Kane at Wild and give Kenan a like. These guys are awesome. Turtles are awesome. If you guys don't know about turtles, make sure you hit up Kenan at Camp Kenan and Kane over at Wild, guys. Thanks for watching. Critter Cam.